Hi everyone, my name is Nofar from SAP Business One Product Management Team. In this video, I'm going to show how to use the SAP Business Technology Platform. The result will be similar to a previous video named Web Client Fury Worklist Extension. In this video, the entire solution is created and developed using the Business Technology Platform services. We have three parts for the video. The first one is connecting the service layer to the business technology platform. The second is creating and developing Fiori web application. And the third part is creating a URL mashup in the web client. So first in the cockpit, we will go to connectivity and destinations. Here we will define a new destination. I will call it B1 service layer. I will add a description. In the URL, I will put the service layer URL. And in the authentication, I will choose basic authentication and will fill in the username and password. Great, I will add some properties needed by the service layer. And we'll save it. Now let's check the connection. Great. Let's go back to the trial room. I will choose the SAP Business Application Studio. I will create a dev space. Great. And we'll click it. Now we are going to create our project. I will click Start from Template and we'll choose the SAP Fury application. In the application type, I will choose the SAP UI5 Freestyle and the Worklist application. The data source will be connected to a system and I will choose the B1 service layer that we already defined. Let's complete the service path. and we'll choose the object collection. I will choose the service call and the service call ID to be the key. The object ID will be subject and the object number will be status. Click Next. We will define the names of the application title and the module. Application namespace. And if I want to have the option to deploy my project, 
I will choose yes in the deployment configuration and in the FLP configuration. Let's click next. And now we will configure the deployment settings. I will choose the Cloud Foundry. In the destination name, I will choose the B1 service layer again. And I will configure the Fiori Launchpad settings. Click Finish. And here is my project. Let's go to the code. Let's open the project. Under the manifest.json, I will add a specific line under the models. The reason that I am adding this line is to ensure the request sending to the service layer is using the HTTP method get instead of post via the O data batch. And now let's run the project. Great, so this is the project, the service called project, with two columns, subject and status. Let's go back to the code and deploy the project. I will go to the mtl.yaml, right click and build MTA project. It will generate a new folder. MTA archives. Right click on the file, deploy MTA archive, and let's sign in to the Cloud Foundry. Sign in and let's define the target. My account and the dev space and click apply. By clicking apply, the task to deploy will be running as below. Now let's find the destination service name. Here it is. I will copy it. and use it in this command.
Great, this is our URL. I will copy it and open it in a new browser. Let's copy it and paste it. And great, this is our web application. Now let's create the mashup in our web client environment. I will go to the Visual Studio code and we'll create a new template. I will choose Sub Business One Web Client Extensions. Tide Extension App. I will define the ID of the application. The version and the provider. Next, URL Meshup App. I will give a name to the module and we'll fill in all the tile settings. The title, the subtitle, in the tile link method I will choose new window, I will paste the link of the tile. Finish. Great, so we have it our URL mashup project. Inside the MTA archives, we will find the MTR file. Let's go to the extension manager and log in. Here, I will import my MTR file. Let's upload it and click Next. And let's choose the company. Great. Let's go to the web client. I will log in. And there, under the Extensions tab, I will find my tile, my service call. Great, it works. So in this video, we learn how to create our Fury application on the business technology platform, deploy it, and create a URL mashup inside the web client. Thank you, everyone, for watching.